the surprising history and risk of plane automation. Just nine years after the Wright brothers' first flight in 1903, aviation took a major leap. Autopilot was born. In 1912, Lawrence Sperry introduced the first aeroscopic automatic pilot, nicknamed George by pilots. It balanced planes mid-flight, freeing pilots from constant manual control. By the 1920s and 30s, Sperry's invention was widely used even by Howard Hughes during his record-setting flight around the world. As planes grew faster and larger, automation became essential. After World War II, commercial aviation boomed. In the 1950s, cockpits had five crew members. But by the 70s, digital automation had replaced most of those roles, cutting costs and supposedly improving safety. Why the shift? Studies showed most crashes were caused by human error, not mechanical failure. So companies like Airbus pushed automation further. In the 1980s, they introduced the A320, the first plane with a fly-by-wire system. Unlike autopilot, which follows pilot commands, fly-by-wire interprets what the pilot wants and executes it smoothly and safely. But this leap in tech came with new risks. In 2009, Air France Flight 447 crashed into the Atlantic, killing all 128 on board. The autopilot and fly-by-wire systems shut of mid-storm. The pilots, unprepared to fly manually, couldn't recover. It took over two years to find the black box. The cause? A combination of system failure and pilot inexperience. Former pilot William Landwish summed it up. Automation makes crises rare, but also makes pilots less ready when they happen. Despite warnings from aviation safety experts since 2004, similar tragedies followed. In 2018 and 2019, Crashes involving Boeing 737 MAX jets killed hundreds. Investigators suspect automation systems played a role. Automation revolutionized flight. But as planes get smarter, the question remains, are pilots still ready to fly when the systems fail? Please like and subscribe.